All right, guys, we are back. Just did the, the Glen Roths. Um, started with the nice um, non peated, of course. So I don't want to start with peated and then go into um, a non peated. Just doesn't make any sense for the palette. So what we're going to be discussing now are the Kohl Ilas. Uh, that's how you say it. You say Kohl Ila. Um, these guys are actually, uh, their sister distillery is the Lagavulin. And actually, they were owned by DCL, um, which is now Diageo. And if you know Diageo, they're a huge name in the, um, in the alcohol industry. They own uh, Johnny Walker, Guinness, Smirnoff, Captain Morgan's another personal favorite of mine. Anyways, looking forward to it. They've been around, I think, since 1840. 46 that's right um, we're gonna do a double tasting today so get uh, two glasses prepared if you can and or uh, do one and then do the other afterwards but these guys so we have the 12 year uh, Kulila uh, Kulile um, from the from obviously Ila um, uh, area in Scotland and then we have the mock Kol Ila if I say it a bunch of times I'll remember it uh, the mock and the mock is a mix of eight year and eight year to 12 year whiskey. It's a blend, uh, but obviously it's a single malt as well. So as you know, with the single malt rule, they can mix as many, blend as many whiskeys as they want. But if it comes from one distillery, then it's, it's totally okay. Uh, see the uh, color differences in here between the guys. Um, it looks like the 12 year is a little bit thicker. Um, and this is a bit lighter, so maybe this is uh, yeah, a mix, uh, mix of some uh, eight years. Uh, okay, well, let's get started. Um, does it say anything that you'd probably want to know? I've had, the, uh, I've had this, um, the 12 before, and I absolutely love it. I think I've tried the mock, but I don't remember at this point. So we're, gonna, we're just going to go with it. Let's do the Coli the 12 first. Because then the mock will be the little treat. The 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 cold ila, sorry, the cold ila is um, oh to twelve. It's just to die for. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is actually the first one, the first whiskey that ever brought me to enjoying uh, peated whiskeys. Yes, I'm a late starter, but uh, look at me now. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, like I said, we're trying not to swirl it around because we don't want the alcohol fumes to. Um, ruin the 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 flavor uh, or sorry the the smell that we're getting to the nose just gonna try it I, I don't know if there's a big difference to be honest but i'll know over the next uh, five or six whiskeys <laughs> all right well let's uh let's do this shall we let's go in for a smell well let's check out the legs yeah yeah the legs are oh, the legs are definitely bigger than the glen roths and but i know the consistency is really nice on this as well Yeah, definitely. I I easily get, um, but obviously the peat. But I get like uh, I get some honeyness in there, and I've gotten this before. I remember. And almost some like, yeah, no, not tobacco, but something dark, something uh, some like yeah, some leather. Something like that in there. But yeah, it smells really nice. Let's go in for a taste, shall we? Mm. Mm. That is such a good whiskey. It's a long finish too, just keeps going, but keeps developing, keeps getting better. These are 43%, by the way, both of them. So uh, yeah, you'll notice why it uh, burns a bit more than normal. Throw some water in there for sure. <coughs> I'd almost feel bad about throwing some ice in there, but you know, that's my job. So I'll let you know if it's any good. Mm, definitely some, uh, some nice flavors in there. Yeah, what do you get? Maybe go in for another sip and uh, Test your palate and see if uh, if you can pull out the, the flavors while I uh, before I read them to you. So 
Um, as for the nose, we're going to get some citrus fruit, some light malt honey, yeah, um, some saline, whatever that means, a little salty, I guess, and um, some green tea, okay? Um, as for the palate, some honey, some green grapes, yep, some green fruit, uh, apples, barley sugars, um, grapefruit, perhaps? And, uh, and yeah, once again, the, the texture or the texture is really nice. And I, I completely agree, I think. Uh, you know what? I'll start with the ice then. Maybe you can take another sip and see if you, uh, if you taste any of those, uh, those flavors come up for you. Oh, I'm definitely going to mix it now. I want to get it a little cold and see if it's... Uh, I don't want it to melt, though, of course. Not yet. All right. So what am I looking for here? Looking for some green grapes, yeah, green fruits. It says um, citric, fresh fruits, medicinal, new woods, and mossy. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Mmm, well, it actually opens up, I guess maybe just after a minute of it being, uh, being poured or the ice, but... I doubt it's the ice. Yeah, it definitely tastes more, uh, more, or it smells more sweet. Like, yeah, I can see the fruits now coming up. Mm. Actually, that's really good with the ice. It is really good. It doesn't damage it. Instead, it, uh, instead it just makes it, yeah, more smooth. It keeps the texture. I, it's almost say like the melting water, um, with the texture of the whiskey, it's actually really nice. The finish doesn't last very long, but it, it maintains the entire time. And I definitely get some, yeah, some sweetness. The honey is really strong with me, but um, I, could see the, uh, I could see the fresh fruits, like the green fruits. Um, not apple, not pear, but um, yeah, maybe like a melon or something like that. Really nice, yeah, really good. Okay, let's try the mock, the cool Ila mock. Just a wee taste. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm feeling good when the uh, the accent starts coming out. Just a wee taste. Yeah, I think that's Irish though. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta, gotta work on it. Okay. Let's check out the texture without mixing it around too much. Looks, yeah, texture looks nice. Probably gonna be similar to this, I would imagine, hopefully. Oh, by the way, the ratings were, so by the way, yeah, the whiskey base rating, as I usually always do, is 83.51 out of almost 3,000 votes. A very popular whiskey, obviously, and uh, yeah, and treasured, obviously, with that rating. Uh, the mock is at an 82.74 out of a few hundred votes. So also doing very good. Let's see if it compares. What I'm gonna do is actually just cleanse my palate a little bit. Mm. Let's go for it. I'm not sure I'm liking that, uh, that smell too much. That was very, uh, very, medicinal but like almost like an echinacea like it reminded me of being sick or like cough syrup but the stronger sense i get yeah some like tobacco-ish or yeah i'm gonna have to stick with that medicinal properties <laughs> what do you guys get because it it definitely doesn't smell as good as the coal isla um yeah, definitely doesn't smell that good. Let's hope the flavor is a little bit better. Texture was definitely there. Texture is nice. It sits on your sits on your tongue nice and in your mouth well. 
Um, I imagine so with the ice, I'm definitely going to try it with the ice. <coughs> the flavor was lacking in comparison to the 12. It wasn't as complex, um, but I did kind of get some... <sighs> mm, I got some like like greenery to it not not green fruits or anything but like some forestry some like some herbs yeah medicinal um but uh yeah it's it's not bad by any means it's good i'm definitely gonna try it with the ice uh what did it say so it said here from the nose you're gonna get um fresh citruses medium peat a little bit of star anise uh, and yeah, some, it looks like some tobacco and sweaty, sweaty. There's also some medicinal stuff in here as well. I'm just glad that I got it a little bit right. <laughs> and with the palate, medium smoke. I get that. The smoke was nice and gentle. Uh, bitterness and iodine. Uh, maybe it was the iodine that I got that I just couldn't, uh, couldn't comprehend. And there's a certain amount of chili and a little bit of caramel. Yeah, maybe that kind of makes sense. Like a little on one spectrum sweet, but on the other spectrum, like spicy. Yeah, that was probably that kick. Yeah, okay, let's try it with the ice. And uh, like I said, maybe stop yourself and go get some ice for, uh, for the 12, because that was really good with the ice. So you give this a little mix around, see if it changes anything. funny there uh, the color is not too off now now it's watered down the smell you know, I just smelled two whiskeys in a row so my my nose is not to be trusted anymore but it's uh, it smells the same yeah once again good with the ice I don't know, something about the uh, Colila. Colila, it's, uh, it's good with ice. Yeah, it just keeps everything well, um, well streamed. Um, the texture is really good with it, I think. And the, because it's, this isn't so complex, it doesn't lose much. It keeps everything consistent, and I would say it actually <laughs> kind of dulls the, uh, the spiciness of that iodine or the medicinal properties that, that the echinacea, the, the cough syrup that I tasted. Yeah, both fine drams. Um, anything to wrap it up with? No, no, no fun facts, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed your double tasting of these guys. Definitely worth a buy. I'd say always keep this bad boy on your shelf. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Gonna get away from that heat a little bit. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Um, as with the yeah, as for the pairing with the food, I'm gonna skip it this time just because I had a lot of flavor from these two. But you go ahead, you enjoy, see what works. Let me know. Ciao, guys.